How's it going, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you guys are all doing well, well, well. This is a game of Jungle York against the Viego. This will be a fun one. My favorite matchup. Actually, some skill expression in this matchup, which is so good. If you ever versus Viego, just know you do win a level four, one versus one against him. It's just if you're level three and he's level three and he's level four, you can win it, but I think he's got to miss one or two spells. It's a bit of a funny one. He uses Conqueror really well, but so do we. I've actually swapped my runes up. I'm not running the Gathering Store. And instead, I'm running uh, Celerity. I just want to see if I can catch up to him a little bit better. Uh, because lately, I've been getting outrun by them every single time I try to do something. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe E combined with Celerity, it might actually do a little bit more. But you never know. We'll see how we go. A three movement speed at all times is pretty cool too. I wish I could take the extra movement speed in runes, but... I just don't think it's... I, I just think if you take away the AD of the AD rune, I think you just lose out on too much. I suspect he's going to start here, but if he starts here, it wouldn't surprise me. Most of the Egos I see on the bottom team start there. If he starts here, it's perfect because we can kite and clear into him. That would be the ideal goal, but it just hasn't been working that way. Lately, uh, most of the Egos are just starting at the blue buff. So we'll see how we go. Unfortunately, now that no one leashes, it doesn't. you don't really get much information from watching laners anymore. You pretty much have to early ward or that's it. There's nothing else. This game here, I actually banned um, Nidalee. I tried to ban Viego and then my teammate picked it. So I was like, okay, I won't ban it for you then. And then he... And then <laughs> uh, Yona got picked. So I was like, well, that's fucking annoying, isn't it? I did that a bit early, but it should be okay. Oh, good job. There we go. Nice clear so far. Good clear. Good jungle clear. You see how we left it at a good amount? Great jungle clear, this one. Yeah. When you, can, when you get it like that and you can get the attack from over the wall, this is a solid jungle clear. Wow, this is so quick compared to my normal one. Why are they diving towers? Oh, I missed them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you want to be under the tower. That's the problem. That is a problem. I'm going to run to his jungle, see if he's there. Fortunately, I missed those two. Uh, I don't think it's a big problem. As you can see, he's bottom side. So, Viego's bot side, we know that. There's nothing I can really do apart from just hover around here. I can possibly go up here and just do my Krugs. Uh, but, like I said, this is the kind of jungle clear that you will expect from to see. Is the Viego, once you start getting used to what these champions do and how they clear the jungle, um, you'll start to know their patterns. That's okay. It's it's fine. Um, there's no way I can ward it. If my top lane wards it, it's better. And if I had warded their level one, I would have seen that he started top side. So look, there there is things you can do to prepare for it. Does my mid have flash? Okay. No ping on it, so that's okay. My one's up in a few seconds. I might try to go mid. Possibly just go mid. Good. That's pretty good. My my wolves are up. Make my way to wolves. He's gonna be up where he first started his jungle, which is up there. And we should do a wolves into romp into a recall here. That would be the best clear. It's okay to overstay a little bit. See, he's doing the same thing. He's overstaying as well. It's okay to overstay. Don't worry about overstaying. I might actually go for some extra um, health this game because they have a lot of damage and it's kind of scaring me a little bit. Just recall on the spot. This top. Actually, you know what? I'm actually just going to go bot. I reckon I can just gank this bot lane. They said Kais is no flush either. Oh, 
done. Good job. And we can push this up as well. Oh, you don't want me to push it up. Alright, now you want me to push it up. <laughs> he can't make up his mind. I was going to say, it would have been really bad if he, um... If he didn't want me to push it up because my ghouls were coming and I couldn't stop them. Oh, I need I need one of these. Okay. Yeah, I need one of them because it was going to get me ghouls. Okay, good. I need a recall and I need to spend my gold. I had so much gold. Let's just go by. I'm not going to go for the uh, the early health, uh, the early um Dirk. Instead, I'm just going to stack health. Actually, no, I won't do that. Let's do that. Yeah, not sure what he was doing there. I'm just going to go for... I'm, I'm not sure why, because I got out, so he should have got out. I don't know why he didn't get out. Uh, Viego's probably going to go for the grub, uh, go for the dragon here. So I get free grubs. It's a good trade. I'm just going to hit all the other ones, and then hit the middle one last. So all my ghouls will be hitting the big one now, but they should all die from the AoE. And now I'm going to go grubs. He's probably at the dragon. Good. We get our ghouls soon. Exactly what we wanted. Alright, let's go for the big grub. We'll go for this one on the left. We've got to make our way to bot soon. Because I think he's going to get dived. We wouldn't have got him anyway. It's okay. As long as bot lane didn't die. I'm going to ward that because then if I keep that ward in that bush, I'm going to know if he's got... If his ward dies because I saw him put a ward there before. I kind of want to go for his red. Can I get some vision on my, on my blue? If my, if my support can go ward my blue for me quickly... See, this is risky, right? Because if their bot lane's missing on the map right now, their support could easily come to this. There you go, you see that? I'm actually just going to go for it because I can see their sidetrack, but there's a pink ward in this bush. I'm pretty sure I win this. to her. Alright, I think I played that really well. I actually think I played that well. Pacing wise, I, I obviously I couldn't just go in because if I just went straight in, but I'm I'm I had a feeling with my durability, I had a lot of health on me. Um you start to realize once you start building health on Yorick how much you can actually deal once you start getting these health items. Um especially if you go conqueror, it really actually does cover your weaknesses quite a lot by running the, uh, just stacking the health items straight away. This, if I get this in recall, I should be able to get my cleaver, and that's a massive spike, like I'm enormous off that. I can recall on the spot right now. So that's cleaver, that's huge. And now I'm going to start with stacking health, that was my next two items. What I could probably do is Doran's Blade into a Ruby Crystal, and then I can complete the haunting guys. I need a little bit more ID to convert it back, but apart, it's still not that big of, not that bad of a problem. Getting an, a late Doran's blade, such an interesting idea. Um, whenever I ran lethality as a first item, whenever I ran Dirk, getting le getting the Doran's blade as a first item is always such a weird. No, it's the first time. Sorry, as an item later, it's always such a weird thing because. People don't understand, Doran's Blade gives so much extra stats than it needs to because it's supposed to be a one and all, you don't do anything else. Unlucky. Ah, 
probably bad pathing by me here, but... I don't want him to get platings, if I can avoid it. He's going top. He's top right now. I can kill their mid, if I can get a nice engage on him with my... My goals. Yeah, see, he shouldn't die to something like that. See, that's just stupid. That 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 type of death there, it's completely avoidable. Can we even fight this now? I don't even think we can fight this now. Just gonna try and get some health back on this camp. We just go for the dragon. We trade the grubs for dragon. There's nothing else we can really do about it. That was the whole mindset behind that play. I just... I knew I wasn't going to be able to get anything other than the dragon. So there's no point going up. Um, one thing you learn when you play jungle for a while is... The best junglers in the game don't die. That's pretty much... They don't take risks. They don't take the risks they know aren't going to work for them. So they, they only pick the, their battles that they know will work. I know, the second my top lane died, I wasn't going to be able to get grubs. So there's no point putting myself in the position there. Let's go get something else on the map. And see if we can actually benefit that way. They're all collapsing on mid. We can win this. Alright, no, there's no point over over committing. It's just we got what we wanted. That Viego, it looks like he's going for the top scuttle, so let's just quickly run to the top scuttle. I don't want him to get the neutral camp. I'd rather he get it, that's fine. What happened to my to carry? Did he DC? Oh no, that's not good at all. Alright, he, he reconnected, alright. <laughs> that's better. Okay, good. Alright. So, we need to build into Leandri's here. So, I'm going to go for the Haunting guys first. That's going to give me some health. So, at least I'm getting something out of it that I can use. More importantly, though, before I build the next component, I need to be careful because that's 30 AP and that's 30 AP. The second I build this one, I'm going to go back into AP Adaptive Force and I can't do that. So, I actually need to build two component items right now that go towards something else. Uh, so, I'll probably build... 30 AD next, and then we'll get a delayed Leandries instead. Oh, he actually got him. Um, I'm in a pretty okay spot here because I can just take his Krugs. So, this is actually pretty fine for me. This is actually really good for me because I can support my AD cap, my uh, Yasuo, while also putting Counter Jungle in too. So, this, I'm okay with this. He could just go for the um, Rift Scut, Rift, the Herald, but pretty sure I can just make my way up and there's no real cost. I would like to get his red, but I just don't know if it's worth it. I could probably just eat it. And then get fresh ghouls from mid. Like, I don't mind if they get it or not. That's not a problem. If he gets it, he gets it. I don't care. The important thing is I can go mid here. And I can get what I need. Good, I can just go to my jungle now. I'm happy. I'm okay with that. I'm completely okay with that. I've got my W maxed out. So if there's a fight, I can reliably um, put a wall up and just stay active. If I bounce around the wall. Oh, there's a pink wall here. That explains a lot. That's how they know they're rotating around. Now 
he probably wins a 1v1 against me. I don't see why we can't just do this. I still want people to come because I don't feel safe doing this alone, but I don't see why we can't just do this. Yeah, their jungle bot side. He can't even get anything bot side. Their jungle just flopped this completely. Group me, please. Like, if we just group, we win this game. <laughs> We're so far ahead. There's no point calling surrender votes. Damn, I didn't get the top Scarlet either. That's really unfortunate. So, um, if I was running Comet, I could probably upgrade straight to to what's it called here, Leandris. But I just, I just don't see it. Not in this, not in this particular scenario. Got Herald as well. His Krugs are up, so I'm gonna make my way over. These are my Krugs now. You bastard, he took the majority of them. Can we not get just... Wow, they took ages to TP in. I thought that would come so much sooner then. Wow, that's my fault. I shouldn't have got... I really didn't expect them to take that long to teleport in. I saw one person TP and I was like, Oh good, I could just get in there. Well done. They should win this. She's a fed... She's, she's fed as hell. Aim that one. Well done. Nice job. Nice job. Good job. I'm actually just going to go for this early. Should you just attack the tower twice? Alright, I'm just going to get it early. It's going to turn everything AP, but I don't think I have a choice right now, because I need uh, a big buy. Damn it, I needed that for ghouls. That sucks. I've got Herald as well. Problem is this Yone is going to come into the game soon, and then we're going to be in trouble. But at least my um, Leandrius is going to start doing a lot of damage. I should kind of glad that missed. <laughs> I need you to clear this dude, so I can take the ghouls with me. Otherwise, I don't have any ghouls. Ooh. We can go, can't we? Just go. Thinking I can maybe drop bot here. Can't if, if the your saw is gonna be bot though. It just doesn't make much sense. And I don't have uh, what's it called up here either. Um, smite. The goal of the maiden drop bot here would be pretty much be to control the the baron. Now 
now I can drop Maiden Bolt. Just let her push with you, dude. You'll be right. I'll get that. I can get this. I've got a little bit of AD, but it's not enough. I need another 20. That's the advantage of going the Dirk early. Is you can, um... Ooh. I've got Herald still. I forgot completely. I forgot entirely about that. Maybe I would have put it down earlier. I never use Her I never use Herald well if I don't use it straight away. Oh, I could get I could get eight on Baron here. I could actually get eight on Baron. Look at that. Eight ghouls on Baron. It's actually faster for me to do that than it is for me to do it myself. To be there. Because if I'm there. Yeah, no, it's actually because the second I get there, it despawns the ghouls, right? But it's actually faster for me to get eight ghouls on Baron and not despawn the ghouls. Okay, well, we just go around top, right? You got to think about it as one, uh, four ghouls basically mean one ghoul's attack. Um, a one Yorick's attack. So if you can get eight ghouls on the Baron, then that's basically Yorick plus the ghouls on there. Except they have really high base damage compared to Yorick at this, le especially at this level. So it does more by me just leaving the ghouls there. build next what's the best item next i think at this point in time the best item we should probably go for is probably let's just go for this that should be i still don't have enough oh my god this is the problem boys i need an extra long sword because that's not enough ad okay now i have enough so it should be ad now why do i have 84 ap is it that I don't understand. Is do I not have enough for? I'm confused, but that's alright. Doesn't matter. I thought I would have had um. Eighty four. Three percent. What else is giving me AP right now? <laughs> is my math just fucking terrible? Seventy. What else is giving me AP? I don't know. I, I'm I'm a little confused. Oh, Baron. <laughs> it's Baron that's doing it. Fuck it hell. I knew I was, I knew I was missing something. Alright. Let's just take this. Ideally, we'd get some ghouls in the top lane. Because I've dropped, I've dropped uh, your, uh, ghouls bot. scary. Maiden still bot, so we got the nice force. I'm just gonna push. I, I reckon we can just end it here. Maiden's bot as well, anyway. Extremely good push, yeah. Extremely good play. Good, good. I, I can't go near bot, because if I go near bot, I'm gonna lose all my goals. So I'm better off just staying here, letting my ghouls do the work down there. There's not even any ghouls there. In the tower, bro. Hey, we beat a Yone. What is this? I haven't beat a Yone in so long. Good game, well played. This is a good one. I'm happy with this game. My team actually played really well. I, I was enormous compared to their Viego. I love that matchup. I'll play that matchup any day of the week over any of the other junglers. It is so much more fun and skill-based than the other junglers are. 970, not that much damage, but you know what? It was a pretty good game. I'm happy with it. Thanks for watching, fellas. I will catch you in the...
next video um, hopefully be tomorrow. So thanks for watching.